Hey there folks, Mark here on The Culinary Compass. I wanna show you right now how you can do something in like 10 minutes that will blow your family away and is fun and will open up a new way of cooking. And it's called en papillote. And you've seen this done kind of in parchment paper or in tin foil where you get something and you open it up and then all of the smells come out. So we're gonna do that today with fish. All right, ingredients. So today we're gonna to start with just a really simple piece of fish. Any nice white fish will do, any fish will do. You just need to be aware of always getting fish that is, uh, is fresh or fresh frozen, um, which is absolutely fine. Um, and as far as ingredients today, we're gonna basically just use some lemon, tomatoes, a few slices of onion, and the process is really simple. You take your piece of fish and put it in some type of a container where it can steam in its own juices. So you could use parchment paper, you can use tin foil, and really any type of fish that you're interested in is fine. And we'll just take a couple of things in here. Let's uh, maybe put some tomatoes here. We can actually let's slide a couple underneath. We have an onion or two. Here we have some of our last tomatoes from the garden. A um, little bit of lemon juice. Nice to put in a couple of pieces of lemon. Um, a little mixture for me tonight of olive oil, a little butter, a little garlic, and you see how little I'm putting in. And uh, for fun today, I've got some caper berries that I'd like to use. Uh, that's uh, basically um, something very tart and briny, but you know, really pretty much anything goes. And uh, a little bit of thyme from the garden. Okay, that's it. So basically, you got your ingredients, you put them all in. Next step, Fold it up. Now, when you're doing stuff on papillot, you want to make it easy to open up, but you also need to have it nice and well closed so that it can steam well. All right, so we're going to fold over the top like that. Maybe one more time, we'll crimp it. And you do want to leave enough room so there's an air pocket in here, so all of that wonderful stuff in there can go ahead and steam. Fish, tin foil, parchment paper, little butter, little olive oil, some herbs. As far as flavor profile, anything goes that you would like to taste together and that may make sense. And I encourage you to experiment. Instead of thyme, maybe parsley. Um, instead of a white fish, maybe salmon. Um, oops, I just realized something, I forgot salt. That is critical, and pepper. I'm not gonna worry about it. These are mistakes you make. So I'll make sure to salt and pepper it when it gets on the plate. Um, so anyway, uh, really just play around. What I wanted to just share with you is this method of cooking, en papillote. Uh, it's simple, and one of the best things about it is it's fun. Because when you bring these to your table and you put them on your plates and you open them up, it's like a little package of love. And all those aromas and odors come right out. People open up their tin foil, hopefully have a crusty piece of bread on the side where they can dip into all of the juices. So that's it as far as prep goes. I'm basically gonna do four of these tonight because we're a family of four. I'm gonna take all four of them and I'm basically gonna place them just like this inside of a baking dish. They don't have to go into a baking dish, but it means a little less oven cleanup later on if some of the juices do spill out, but they shouldn't. All right, so these are gonna go in the oven at about 350 degrees. And uh, I would say maybe 20 minutes. We'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. So these just came out of the oven. They've been in there for about 20 minutes. As I said, you normally will do this on a plate, but we're just gonna do this right here for right now for the first one. So they're hot, so you gotta be a little careful, but we'll open this baby up. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out. And you've got this little packet of absolute, look at that. My goodness, that really does look fantastic. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and take a nice bite of this beautiful fish. Absolutely amazing. Really incredible. The flavors of all of that stuff have permeated the fish. Obviously super tender because it's in that juice. And of course that juice is something that you'll go ahead and use your crusty bread to soak up. Anyway, great way to cook your fish. Super simple, 
and these little packets at the table, it's just festive, it's just fun, and it's just another way to shake things up in the kitchen, uh, but to keep all the flavor in, and in an extremely low-fat way to enjoy your proteins, your fish. Anyway, so that's it for the Culinary Compass. Ciao for now.